Hey guys, McGeek Balls here, and we're going to show you how, you how to build a slime block tutorial. Slime block elevator, a staircase elevator, and a mob grinder in this whole video. So, we're going to get started with the elevator. We're going to elevate the stairs. See? Go up. And then you're like right here. You want to flick it off. And, oh wait, so um, that was my fault. You want to come up here, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're going to go up there, and then you're going to reach. You can reach it, I think. And I flick this up. Or you can just flick it down, leave, and then go right back up. Well, something like that. But it's like this. You want to flick it down, and you're walking down, and flick it down. It's still there's signals on, there's signal on, but you want to learn, you want to learn the mechanic. See that shuts it off, and that keeps it on, that keeps it powered on, and then. So when this is shut off, you want to turn it back on, but then when this is on, it's already on. So you want to. You don't wanna you don't wanna have this. Don't worry about that. Okay, so you wanna break this. Put a button. Button doesn't sound that great of a signal, right? Cause that one's on already. Torch is on, powering it on. Take it off. You wanna have this. And this. Okay. Not that. Okay, so we're gonna do full delay one and two. And this will allow for the button to Okay, right. So you wanna click on it. Oh wait. It will just give you just enough time to walk down so Did I do that wrong? Okay, I did. It was so many. It's it's like a lot of steps I did on the. Do you want to do full full delay? Full delay, full delay, one delay, one tick. Okay. You want to click on it, and then you're going now. and then it lags sometimes. Okay, that's it. And this is basically what you need to do. You can just screenshot this and you'll get it. So you want to do this. Put it. Put a black torch. No delay. One tick. Another tick. Another tick. One. Two repeaters. Two repeaters there. And so so. It's pretty easy. It's basic. Now this part. If you this is the most complicated part. Of the this, this basically the tutorial. There's gonna be if you have if you find one apparently, and you it it works better on night. So let's just switch it to night. So let's switch it to night. And I'm gonna go to survival, and they're gonna try to get you. Obviously, like always, try to get a sword and go to creative. Try to, try to have a sword with you. Any sword. Because, you know, they can they can probably shoot you if there's a zombie, a bow. Like, you can, like, and then, when you like, let me turn fly mode on. Fly. When you see there's, like, a good, like, five to ten zombies, try not to overpack it because... It will, it will not work. They made 20 zombies. So, yeah. 20. 20. 15 to 20. Don't try to do like 25. Try to get, like, try to do this fast. Because it will mess up. So, you could, you could put a villager here. Lock it up with a um, glass, like a villager. But, if you guys want to do the work for the villager. Don't do it. Okay. 
I see, you guys see we have enough zombies. You guys want to And what you want to do is go to if you're like creative, come down. There's always a little baby down here. Kill my chat. And I will go down here. And if you guys want to turn this into an XP farm, be very, again, listen, very careful. You don't want to leave it like that. You want to get a slab or a carpet. Two carpets would be nice. Because the baby zombies don't fit. And then what should you put this on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, ten. And they're gone. See? You don't want that. You want to wanna flick it and turn it off. So that's why you... Who put this lever here? No. No, it's not supposed to be one. It's supposed to be a button. A button. Okay, so let's put a button. Okay. So, full tick. Full tick. Okay, and then this is going to allow it to put as much time as we need. And you come in with the diamond sword and stuff. You'll see if you have this, you'll see the mod, you see that stuff I had. So, so let me just put it disappears sometimes, but it works. It's just, yeah, sometimes the mechanics. So, it's the making this part you wanna. Not that bad. Pretty simple. I can make it uh, really fast. So, you wanna do this. See, just put, just line it up like this. Two pistons. Oh, I can't break nothing. Put that circuit tree like that, an H, long H, put a torch, and you're done. And nobody's gonna like, oh, what is this? Stand on the slime block. And. Yep. Simple. <laughs> really isn't. Really, really simple. Si the simplest of simple. You see? Oh, wait. Pretty much, this is how it works. You click on it. It extends it because you don't want the full delay. Because if you, like, let's say, let's say, see how this is on full? Let's see if I had this on full. This is basically what happened. So you want to retract it. And. You can put, because if you put an item, obviously the slime block is going to take it. So you what required is a furnace or an obby, which is obsidian. So, hope you guys like these tutorials. I didn't show you guys how to build them, because I, I don't have time right now. But I'll show you guys how it, how it works, how you can build them, what you need. This, right here, is really, really simple. I'm just going to tell you guys what's going on. You can use like a bucket of water, extend it out that way, and then dig one or dig two down from the You can build it as far back as you want. Eight, eight, eight required. Eight and by four, by five, by ten. If I think you want it, that's how it would work. Because let's say, for like for this one, I have a mob. A creeper would be nice. Yeah, they're stupid mobs. <laughs> and 
and get crushed. See? It's a really good mechanic to do this. But, yeah. Uh, this brings my geek balls. And peace. Hope you watch the last play first. Then this. Peace.